since we're going to be burning stuff today, we're back at the dome. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, for anyone not aware, when I say we, this is Callie, and together we hosted over 500 videos on the channel The King of Random a few years ago, and she is here as a special guest because we are doing something right up her alley. I love fire, a lot of you guys know that, and I'm really excited to see what we're gonna do today. Have you ever seen steel used as a fuel source for a fire? Normally steel isn't gonna burn too well, but if you add enough oxygen, like putting it into liquid oxygen, it will burn. So we're gonna do a few tests with that, and then we're gonna see if it is possible to quench a knife in liquid oxygen. Steel actually does combine with oxygen all the time. Usually it's just really slow, we call it rusting. If you are able to get steel to combine with oxygen really fast, it's a lot more of an exciting reaction. And to do that, you need a lot more oxygen. Liquid oxygen provides several hundred times more oxygen at any given time. And the easiest way to get that is to make it ourselves. So we've got our nice oxygen tank here. Uh, what's going to happen is the oxygen is going to flow through the tube and down into these copper coils. Now we have got liquid nitrogen in this thermos and the liquid nitrogen is going to cool the oxygen. It's going to condense it in the copper coils and it's going to come out into our cup here. It's gonna be this really pretty nice blue color. Opening oxygen. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Now we've got something happening. You see this color? We're gonna have some awesome slow-mo shots today. Thanks to our friend Todd from Kuma Films. You can find us on YouTube at Kuma Films or Instagram also at Kuma Films. I feel like I've seen you on TikTok too. Oh, and TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> For our first test, we are going to be burning steel wool in liquid oxygen. Steel wool is actually fine enough threads of metal that it can burn without liquid oxygen. It's just pretty slow. It's pretty though. We're gonna speed it up. Everyone's ready? Three, two, one. So as you can see, a bit faster of a reaction. Just a little more exciting. But uh, I think you've got something a little bit better in mind for this. I want to do another steel wool, but I want to put it in the styrofoam cup. We've done this before, but we've actually dropped the steel wool into the styrofoam cup before, and it's gorgeous. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> steel bowl, not flammable. Styrofoam cup, very flammable. Steel wool in a styrofoam cup. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no more cup! So the steel with this much oxygen will burn. The styrofoam with this much oxygen really, really, really wants to burn. <laughs> so the steel burned quick. The styrofoam evaporated. Yeah, I mean, I'd say there's nothing left, but it's in the air around us right now. It's just, <laughs> I got the black lung paw. <laughs> That was amazing. What do you say we try it with a little bit thicker steel than steel wool? What do you think is going to happen? I honestly don't know. We've got no idea. Furnace! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
As always, a huge thank you shout out to all of our supporters on Patreon. We could not do these videos without you. If you're interested in joining the Patreon supporters, the link for that is in the description. And three, two, one. Slightly more bubbling, but that was all. <laughs> so I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that there's just not thin enough fibers oh, before sure. it actually burn. Yeah. I was hoping it would burn. The what? I was hoping it would burn. Me too. Back here for one minute. I figured maybe the steel rod didn't have enough thin bits to light on fire, so I used a hatchet to feather it a little bit, like you will with a stick when you're trying to start a fire. Everyone ready? Three, two, one. No, not enough. Okay, I've got a thought. Okay, share. It won't be terribly exciting until it hits the styrofoam, but what if we just poured it, put it back in the styrofoam like and just dip the, the stick? the styrofoam? Yeah, with the stick. Yeah, why not? Okay. So now, I'm gonna take that red hot stick, I'm gonna put in this cup of liquid oxygen, but I'm gonna touch the side a little bit so the styrofoam container lights on fire, and at least it will look really cool. Three, two, one. I am now at least much more confident that the knife will survive being quenched in liquid oxygen. So just to explain really quick, for anyone who's unaware, quenching a knife is when you heat it up and then you cool it down rapidly and that creates a new grain structure of the metal inside and that will harden the blade. That's usually the goal. You've probably seen this on TV shows where they take hot orange metal and plunge it into a barrel of oil or sometimes water. Well, we're gonna try that plunge using liquid oxygen instead. It's extremely cold but it also will vaporize on contact, so I don't know how fast it'll cool it down. It should be fun to try. Right here, I've got a pretty powerful magnet. Now, this knife is made of 1095 steel, so when it gets warm enough that it is no longer attracted to the magnet, we know that it's at the right temperature for quenching it. Not attracted to the magnet, that means we're at a good temp. I expect this will be mostly boring while splashing a little bit of oxygen out of the top. That's probably it, but maybe it'll be more. That's full. That's full. All right. Good to go. Okay. Here goes. You are topped off? Topped off. Okay. Back off. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, it's pretty. Oxygen just hit the furnace. There's bubbling noises, so there's actually still oxygen in there. Yeah, it's still working. Okay, it's dark, but I feel a lot of heat coming off of it. Okay, I'll top it off again? Yeah, yeah, just pour more onto it. I'd say we have a quench. Time to find out how well it worked. All right, I've quenched the knife, and now it's time to find out what hardness we've achieved. I cut off the handle, and now I'm just gonna grind away a little bit of the surface to make sure I'm testing the metal and not the hardened scale on the top. Hmm. All right, first test has given us 33. Let's do one more to double check. Again, low 30s. So, 
For those unfamiliar with the scale, we'd ideally be looking for something around 60, and this came in at 30, whereas before it was hardened, it was probably around an 8. So 32, 33 is pretty bad. Combine that with the fact that it picked up a significant warp, and the fact that liquid oxygen is frankly just hard to get your hands on, I would say it is not a good material for quenching a knife. Too bad. This was fun. Callie, where can people find you? Instagram and Twitch is CalBits. Go check them out. If you have anything else you want to see us burn in liquid oxygen, let us know. Comments. <laughs>